Hi everybody, Jonathan here from Real Time Rendering and today I'm going to do a new Twin Motion video for you. It's around this time of year where lots of things get released. Apple have got a new event tonight and other software tends to come out around this time of year. So I'm getting really excited about what might be coming in Twin Motion. So I thought I'd make a little video just running through what might be coming soon. So if you were to uh, go to the Twin Motion public roadmap, this was what you would find. And at the moment we've got under consideration, in progress and released. So for this video, I'm gonna focus on what I can see in the in progress section. Just talk about some of the new features coming here. And who knows, we'll be able to have a look at these at some point soon when the new version comes out. So at the moment we've got the uh, nice little preview here of camera preview. If we click on this one, the idea of this is when you're actually working on your scene, sometimes you want to see a view through the window and you actually want to be moving the asset like a tree or something into that view. So this is actually something that will be a big improvement. And I found this myself when I was trying to adjust particular uh, images, I had to go back into the editor, move the camera, go back to the image and so on many times. So a really welcome new feature. It'll be interesting to see how this is implemented, I think. So let's have a look at one of the other nice features that I can see uh, coming. And basically it looks like there's gonna be some new automotive templates. Now this is something that I know Twinmotion have been quite keen to promote for a while. There's been a few tutorials on automotive design. In fact, I've done a really nice one myself, if you haven't seen it on the channel, on an Audi R8, my favorite car. So this looks pretty awesome, or even better, the Audi e-tron, probably even nicer than an Audi R8. And I'm super excited to have a look at how this can work, particularly with that lovely Audi there. Okay, so as well as that, we've also got some nice uh, additional content here. Looks like maybe some additional templates potentially, but we'll have to wait and see. Okay, so one of the big new features that I'm really hoping for in the new version of Twinmotion, if it comes, is of course Lumen. Now Lumen has been announced both on Mac and PC for Unreal Engine 5.3, which just came out recently. And I've seen some of the demos and Lumen just looks unbelievable. The fact it's also supported on the Mac platform now is super exciting because this potentially means that Twinmotion could be opened up uh, for Lumen on Mac as well as Windows. Now we don't have path tracing on the Mac, but with Lumen, I think the images will render really fast and look even better than they currently do. Basically, this is full dynamic global illumination and reflections and without the need for path tracing. So super excited to see what Lumen offers on both Mac and Windows, and I will be testing that soon. Um, one of the other things that uh, we've been looking for for a while in Twinmotion is the enhanced sort of water materials using Path Tracer. Now, they did look a bit flat when they used the Path Tracer before, and that was a real shame because Path Tracing looked uh, amazing for everything else, like the glass and reflections, but just simply not very good for the water. If they do implement this for the actual water, um, it'll be superb and super exciting. Now, I definitely would find this useful. I know my interior design clients would. Um, a really improved sort of fabric uh, material type element would be very welcome. Materials in Vectorworks or Twin Motion are superb, but you know you really do need to have something that gives you a very specific look for certain types of materials and upholstery and things like sofas and so on as well. So this new approach uh, has a lot of promise to it, and I'm really excited to see what they do with linen, silk, wool, polyester, and velvet. Let's wait and see. Okay, so uh, as well as the fabric enhancements, of course, glass optimization is something that Twin Motion users are always quite keen uh, to see. You know, basically one of the problems with glass is it slows down the rendering quite a bit, and it would be really nice if there was a more basic, simplistic, but you know, really well implemented glass that we could just drag in and use. Sometimes I've spent a lot of time playing around with glass before and you know it's still tricky to get the results you need. So a nice new glass optimization would be very welcome indeed. Okay, so uh, just to carry on with the new features that are basically in progress, so we're told, um, we've also got one here called long exposure. I'm not really quite sure how this is gonna work and I'm looking forward to testing this, but I think I understand what it means. Sometimes you're inside and you've got an image with an HDRI outside and it is quite tricky to control the brightness of the different sort of elements of the highlights and the shadows. So this should a, really help you refine those sort of dark and light areas in the image. Um, a bit more control than just the overall exposure level. 
Okay, finally, uh, we'll kind of move down to the bottom row because there's one I want to talk about here and it's definitely one I would love to see. Animated uh, FBX import. This would open the door so that you can actually import things like this curtain that waves in the wind and that will really kind of add a whole bunch of realism. Um, so if you do uh, use sort of advanced software like Blender or 3D Max where you know how to animate 3D uh, FBX files, you'd have to get those into Twinmotion and, you know, have those animated objects as well. So that's super exciting and definitely something I'll look forward to using as and when it comes. Um, there's a few other things in here that I mentioned and um, one of these, I don't use Adobe Substance myself, I tend to rely on the Quixel uh, assets for my textures and so on which I find really good. But if you are an Adobe Substance user, this would be a really, really nice benefit. I can see that. I have played with Adobe Substance and it looks pretty amazing. Uh, the way it can create materials and textures is just phenomenal, really. And it's very sort of node based and kind of quite techy, um, but also easy to achieve superb quality materials. So that import ability to work with those would be wonderful. OK, so just to round this uh, little video off, if you do want to, you can also have a look at what was released in the last uh, couple of releases. And we talk about things like the new uh, user interface that came out as the big new feature, path tracer improvements and things like the templates as well. Obviously, uh, if you also go to under consideration, uh, this is where your participation would be greatly appreciated by Epic. And basically you are free to add some ideas in here and also vote up or vote down certain things that you would like to see. So I do hope you've enjoyed this short Twinmotion video, uh, getting super excited about a potential new release of Twinmotion. And make sure you subscribe if you're new around here for all my Twinmotion videos that will come soon. As soon as that new release drops, I'll be here. Thanks for watching everybody and enjoy. Bye.